All right, I got a mail bag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, something like that. It's a huge one. It's a big mail bag. So uh, let's start with this gigantic package so we can get it out of the way. I'm pretty sure these are just a bunch of boxes. Yeah. So I really like these boxes, so I bought a whole bunch more. Um, and they're just uh, little boxes. I'm gonna put that down. I'll just keep one out. And uh, I have a bunch of them. I use them for all different kinds of things. Uh, just for storing little things in and modules. I just really like the size of them. And if I'm going to go somewhere, I can just grab one. If I'm working on something, I can grab. Uh, I can even fit a uh, mini breadboard in here. Uh, you can. It's a little tight, but you can squish the, uh, if you have a mini breadboard with wires on it, um, you can get it in there. You just got to squish it a little bit, but uh, it'll work. So we'll move some of these out of the way. Get my scope probes out of here. All right, what we got here? 10 pieces WS2811S. And it is 10 pieces WS2811S. So I sees. Yeah. Let's see if this light's helping at all. Ready? Oh yeah, it is. Look at that. Not really, I mean. But more of a glare. What if I put it over here? <laughs> Look at it change the Let me put auto focus on, auto focus lock. It certainly brings out some more blue. <laughs> That's pretty cool. See if it comes in handy at all. All right. Um, hmm. Screwdriver. It's a spudger. Yeah, they're not really strong. These are kind of crappy. They're just stamped. I saw some people recommending these, and uh, unless these are knockoffs of something that's nicer. This is just crap. This is really crap. Not impressed with that at all. Uh, cell phone accessories. Switches, tiny little surface mount switches. That looks like a DPST. Oh, DP is there a DPDT? 
I'm not sure if the sides if they're tied together or not. But it doesn't really matter because I mean look how small they are. So if you want a push button. They're really nice and small too. I don't like those. I'm gonna have to get more of those. They're a SM surface mount but leaded. This is a mini LED RGB controller. Oh, I got one of those really cheap single PCB RGB controller um, for those LED strips. Uh, like, uh, let me see if I have a set right here. Uh, but they don't have the pins, so that's not going to work. But I mostly got this just to test out uh, RGB strips, three channel RGB strips. Actually, these are not three channel RGB strips. This is, uh, these are NeoPixels, WS2812s. What was I thinking? All right. I know I had an LED somewhere. Okay, here they are. So I believe you just plug this in here. Positive. Uh, I'm assuming it goes this way. And 12 volts, so let's do, uh, let's plug up the power supply. We'll put it, how do I know if this is 12 volts or 5 volts? 12 volts. 12 volts, and then we'll um, take these two. Got that plugged up. There we go. So it works. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I'm hitting max current limit. Let's turn that up to one amp. Still hitting max current. All right, 12. All right. Oh, those are nice. Strobe in red, strobe in blue, strobe in green. It's pretty green. Uh, red and blue, red and green, blue and green, red, blue, and green. Oh. That's pretty. It fades from uh, RGB to the colors. That's a opposite theater chase or oh no it does like a some kind of alternate flicker green blue so it's like a pulse pulse decay that's kind of a cool animation I like that I like these LEDs too they're really small I've never really seen these kind of LEDs I don't know what size package that is Untangle this so you can see more of it. Let's do uh, 
looks like it froze up a little bit. Hmm. That's not good. It's got a lot of color cycles in there. I'll have to look it up. Color. So it just mixes the two the colors. So that would give you some kind of purplish and aqua, teal, yellow. So you really got to have some kind of um, diffuser on there to see the color. Oh, here we go. Put it over all three and do, yeah, kind of. So if you diffuse them, they would work pretty good. I'm probably gonna put them uh, just as accent lighting so that the colors will blend by time it lights up a, a space. So, oh, there's a speed button too. And a brightness. Pretty cool. So that was pretty cheap. I don't think I paid a lot for these. These were really cheap. And uh, this little piece was really cheap too. I'm just going to leave it on there. I'm just going to leave it on there so I don't lose it and put it in the bag. Actually, I'll take it off so I can put it on my desk for the mail bag. All right. What's next? Diode. I didn't think I ordered any more diodes, so it's probably transistors. Yep. Cool. I actually uh, ran out of all the TO92 packaged um, transistors I have. And uh, so I was going to get a bunch of SOT23 boards and solder all my surface mount transistors and make like a little test board. But when I went to go do it, I realized I didn't have a SOT23 breakout board. Um, apparently, I ordered a SOT223. Uh, so I have some on order, but these came a lot faster. So now I'll have some breadboarding transistors. And that's a, a lot of transistors. I don't even know what kinds of transistors they are. There's a lot of S series signal transistors, B series, and your typical 3904, 3906s. Uh, this is resistances. some kind of module I have no idea what this is um, it's got a 555 timer it must be some kind of sine wave generator or oscillator Hook that up to my scope later and we'll test it out. Yeah, it's got a jumper, so that jumper must be the... Oh, okay, so I think this is one of those little cheap uh, sine wave generator modules. Uh, triangle, square, sawtooth. Um, and then these must set the amplitude and the frequency. So I got two of those. Um, I have a frequency generator, um, but you know, you don't always want to plug something up to a frequency generator just for a, you know a quick little test, and this will it doesn't have a sweep, and this will let me just um, sweep through some frequencies, uh, and you know to do some scope demos and stuff to show people how the scope works. So that'll be a lot easier to have on my bench than to you know just throw it in a box and always have it available. 
not to worry about hooking your BNC cables up and all that. Oral tool. Oh, that's another one of these. Apparently, I ordered two of these. Ooh, oh, does it not have a. This one doesn't have. How did that not cut through the bag? There's a um, sleeve for that. Hmm, I don't see it. I ordered one of these before. I don't think I didn't think I bought the same thing twice, but you know, sometimes you do. Okay, so this is a different one. Uh, I bought this last time. It turns out it's a some kind of scraper. I think maybe for um, bun your feet, and it's really sharp. That's scalpel sharp. It's cutting my finger right there. This is really nice. I really like this. In fact, I was going to use this to start opening packages because it's so cool. But uh, this one is a flat, so it must be for scraping. It's not as good as a quality as this one. This one's significantly heavier. It seems to be the same kind of thing, and this is more for, for scraping in it. It's also pretty sharp, but uh, it could be honed a little. It's got a little bit of a edge on there. Yeah, it's got a little edge on that side right there. But, um, so I got one of those. Yeah, I really wish I had a little cover like that. I'm gonna have to make one. So I got a spudger and that. In fact, I'll show you this other one. These are really cool. Uh, this is a clock module. Get used to the angle you need to cut it at. But it, it cuts. Well, not really made for. I mean, it's sharp. In fact, I think it's too sharp for my cutting board. It might damage it. Oh, what is this? Oh, those are tiny. Wow. I bet those batteries are dead, though. All right, so this is a tiny little RTC mod. Oh, it's smashed. Tiny little RTC module with the battery. This is the DS DS three two three one. Yeah, DS three two three one SN. So it's a tiny little RTC module. Um, I've been testing a bunch of different RTC modules to see which one I want to use. These are really cheap. And they get these little battery backups too. So I mean, maybe I could just add this to a board without having to even implement it on there. But I'm not sure what the protocol is. It might be some weird non-standard thing. But I haven't used these yet. I just liked them because they were the smallest ones. And they're really cheap. All right, we got a few more. Tool. These are gold banana jacks. Um, uh, they're not very nice. They're really crappy yellowish gold. And they don't have a flat seat. They have a hole in the middle so that you can't really get a good seat on the wire because it'll just go underneath. That's pretty stupid and pretty crappy. But, you know, I thought I'd check it out and see if it was worth it. See if the resistance was low and I can use this for... Just, uh, you know, plugging something up with bare wires. I have some of those, um, I think I have, I actually do not have, um, 
They have these with the banana jacks. I mean, with the BNC plug. This is what I want. One of these. I want one of these with banana plugs and terminal screw terminals. But they're kind of hard to find. They're kind of expensive. Um, so maybe I'll make one out of these. You know, just just like that. Or maybe I'll just um, figure something else out. Uh, I think there's one left. One left. Jumper cap. I don't want to cut it. Not leave us a blah 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 blah. All right, these are well. Those are weird colors. They're like a very strange finish on them. They're like a kind of a dull red, dull yellow, and dull green. But these are the jumper. Let me sure. Let me make sure they're uh, 1.27. If I can get them out of there. they are the right size. <laughs> yep, and they grab really good. They grab really good and they have the long handles on them. So there you go. And I got, uh, I don't know, 10 of each color. Red, green, yellow, black. Maybe it's 20 of each color. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Something like 15 or 20 of each color. Oh, I did have one more thing. Um, I'm sorry. I don't know what this is. This came as a, a free package. It, was a, it didn't come with anything I ordered. It came as a separate package. It didn't even say which store it was from. So they're just automatically sending these to all their customers that order from them. And it wasn't even, it didn't even say who sent it. Let me try to peel that off. <laughs> so this is some kind of um, wire wrap twist tie with little platypus or duck bill something or other on there <laughs> it's kind of weird I opened it up and I said what the heck is this and it, there was a little note in there that said um, compliments didn't say who it was from or what store or what eBay seller very strange kind of a uh, you're gonna give something out for free you, you better put your freaking name on it um, or else, you know, wh wh what's the point? I don't think I have anything else hiding around here. Um, I did order two other things that I already opened. I ordered a couple things that I already opened because um, I've been waiting on these. I need some lights for my 3D printer because it's over in the corner. So I got, got these little cheap LED USB lights. This one's useless. It's like a book light. Uh, it's just one little... T5 light in there. Use is completely useless, but and it's not very bendy. It doesn't stay where you put it. It's it's like it's just got a piece of copper wire in there or something. Now these are really nice. They actually have a really nice and I really just bought these for the adjustable <laughs> um whatever these are called, adjustable braids. And it's got a little strip of lights in there. And I'm probably gonna rip it out of here and put it and mount just mount this to um, somewhere on my 3D printer to shine down on the bed. Um, but I'll show you what it, maybe I'll go ahead and plug it up and let you see what it looks like. There 
go. It's pretty bright. Turn it around so you can I'll go ahead and turn this light off. Go ahead and turn this light off. And you can see it's uh, quite a bit of little light. Quite a bit of light. Uh, I think it's. Um, let's take a look and see what it's pulling. This pulls. Two hundred milliamps. Not bad. Not bad for a little USB light. And here's that other light I bought. This is a gooseneck. I'll take it down and show you it too. It's actually not really as bright. And uh, this one is a. This one's really nice too. Turn the light back on. This has a clamp. Which is really a weird clamp. I don't. It's almost like it's made to clip on a wire. These are kind of rubberized. You can take them out, but they still don't close properly. So, like, I don't know why it. It's made to clip on something specific. It's got these little grooves. Um, if you can replace that with some just rubber, it would do a lot better. Grabbing. But it's really nice. It's a really nice flex too. And it's also USB, and it has a little switch. And I don't think I looked at how much current this one's drawn. Let's take a look and see. I don't think I looked at this one. Uh, 240 milliamps. And it's got a like a little. A surface mount LED. You could probably change it out so you have a better color LED, a natural color, some kind of little lens. Maybe you can modify the lens to change the output. Maybe get diffuse it a little bit to get rid of that cone in the middle. And then it's just got a screw cap that secures that on there. It's, and this is uh, feels like it's made of aluminum. It does get a little bit of a little bit warm. Yeah, that's not a really good lens. It's like chipped or something. So maybe you can clean that lens up. That's probably why these are so cheap. But um, I just like that you can pose it. So I'm probably going to buy a bunch of these and just use them. These are kind of like the IKEA lamps, but much cheaper. And uh, I'll probably use them for different things. I might put some probes on them, probe, use them as probe holders, or use them as uh, put a fan on it for solder extraction, fume extraction. And um, they're not extremely strong. They're, they're just the thin ones. I have some stronger ones, um, but they're real short, so I can't really use them for anything useful. Um, but it's already got the USB wire through it, so it might be handy for something. Uh, you know, you can put colored lens on there and use it for like some kind of spotlighting decoration. I think I don't even know how much this was, but cheap enough to just throw around and do something use useless with it. <laughs> so that's it for now. Till next time.